Welcome to Crashing Maya, I'm Alex and today we'll be talking about Polygon Wedge Tool. It's, a, it's not a tool that's used often and a lot of people I've met do not know how to use it but when you do need it, it's a, a lifesaver. So I'm going to show you what you can use it for. The simplest thing is if we have just a cube like this, I'm going to add some divisions to it. Uh, I'm going to select this face and this face and then right click select multi and then shift select this edge so this will select these two faces and then this edge I'm going to go into uh, let's see where is it into uh, edit mesh and select wedge it will by default and let's see if let's reset the settings and see what the default is edit reset that's the default click apply and there it is. Uh, if we go to the inputs for the wedge tool, we have an angle. We have divisions. So if we set this to 180, it will complete the section and we'll get something like this. And then you can play with the divisions and do whatever you need. So it's pretty simple. The one thing you need to be aware of is that the faces on the inside still remain. So what you have to do is delete them, just uh, go to face, select these faces, and deselect the ones outside, and then just hit delete. And there's actually a face inside there as well, so we want to get rid of that. And it also does not connect our vertices, so if we press 3, uh, you can see it's not connected here. So all we need to do is click merge, and now it's all connected. But you can use it for more advanced things, and I can explain a little more. So let's say you have a, a cylinder you've made, uh, and then you've refined it a little bit. So let's go through and uh, extrude some shapes. So let's say you made a shape like this and you realize that after all of that work you have the wrong number of subdivisions because you want to boolean something in, you want to add some detail and there's no way to add divisions because if you start adding edge loops it doesn't keep the uh, roundness of your shape and if you subdivide it makes the whole thing uh, into a big blob so one thing you can do is use the wedge tool to fix that I'm going to delete half and I'm going to select all of the edges on one half and then deselect above them so basically what we we'll need to do is select this the wedge tool only works on faces so uh, we can't uh, we need to do another step. So I'm going to, once the edges are selected, even the ones like this, I'm going to click extrude, press W to go into the move tool. And what we need to do is move uh, these edges into the center. So we need to actually collapse it into the center. We want to make it uh, a straight line right in the center because that's where we're going to revolve our wedge around. So to do that, I'm going to use the move tool. I'm going to hold control shift I'm going to right click and hold and make sure that keep spacing is off. When keep spacing is off, if I now hold the uh, X for snap to grid and grab the X arrow, it will snap to the closest grid and collapse those edges. So once that's done, uh, with those edges selected, I can just click multi and shift add the faces that I want to use. Sometimes it's hard to do it this way, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to uh, go to face selection, select the faces here, deselect the ones uh, above it so we have only the, edge, uh, the faces here selected, and then click on multi and shift add 
one of the edges here. You don't have to do all of them. Just one is enough. And I'm going, going to go into Edit Mesh, Wedge. So now, even with Wedge 90, we can go in and add any number of uh, divisions we want. I'm going to, to clean this up, I'm actually going to click outside in the corner here drag in until I get all of the uh, all of the faces but not going through the center above or to the left of the um, of our grid line and select that I'm going to right click go to invert selection and hit delete this will leave just this it's nice and clean we can test by pressing 3 then I'm going to duplicate rotate 90 degrees in Y and then shift D shift D select uh, all my uh, quadrants combine merge and soften if you want and there it is so we changed the number of subdivision uh, on this object and would have been very hard to do it otherwise uh, so it's really easy to do it with the wedge tool that's it thank you for watching and if you have any comments leave them below thank you